Morning, YouTube, friends and family. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Of course, I don't know what it is, right? Because I'm forgetting what it is. Off to work. I'm going to meet the spray foam installers at the Slaughterhouse Project. Then I'm going to head to Hollowell to work on that historic property with Troy and Pete. So, hey, stick around. We're going to have a great day. Set, lined up, ready to go. I picked up a ladder for work in Hollowell. Oh, I'm out of here. Today is to install siding where we removed. Do you remember that we did, did a log a little while ago where we did the removal here? Um, there's going to be some window jam fabrication that needs to occur, and then we can button this up. Should be a good day. We work in the shade most of the day, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> Pepper, what's up, girl? Black dog in a black truck on black seats. Whoa, you are hot, baby. And just like that, we're off again. Heading to Pete's shop to do some refabrication of some windows and then back to do the siding. Lunchtime couldn't come too soon. I'm starving. We've got a little bit more shop work than we thought we had uh, finished up repairing that window. Those guys just ran off to get a sandwich, and I'm gonna hang here and um, chow down. New sill, and this is some other new parts. This is gonna be for the other window. We're off back to the job site. Troy and Pete are funny guys to work with, you know. Pete's not a real early bird, and he'll be the first to admit this. And Troy has obligations outside of work that are difficult to explain. <laughs> no, Troy's a family man just like me, so he cuts out when he needs to cut out and 
does what he needs to do for his family, which I totally respect. Um, and it's just that right now I have like zero obligations. So I'm like the most consistent of the bunch, which is not typical. day to be working outside just you know not very windy not very hot quite quite nice I'm gonna go grab a couple slices of, slices of pizza before I head home say I did not get a coat of wax oil on this morning. Um, in fact, I got up 45 minutes late this morning. Uh, um, so I am going to do a second coat now. The, the idea is between coats is not to sand it, but to use, um, you know, this uh, abrasive plastic pad. Um, it, it's not even a pad, you know, it's just like that scotch bright stuff, that, but it comes in different colors and each color has a different grit associated with it. And this will just pull up any of the crap that got stuck in the top of the original layer or any um, little bits of wood fur that are that st stick up. This will just like peel it right off and get it ready for the next coat. Oh. my fingers that two coats will do it. I'm a little bit dubious. These areas where I did a little bit more aggressive sanding with the 80 grit and then followed up with the 120 grit. Uh, I might need to do a third coat in those areas but otherwise probably in 24 hours from now well in 24 hours from now I'll probably put that third coat on and then the day after that I should be able to start using it again for light duty. Yes I just said duty. I know Emmett and Zephyr are watching. Now I'm quite, actually several times I've been very glad that we decided to put in a bar sink here instead of your standard bathroom sink, which is that shallow basin that you can even barely get your hands under. With the gooseneck here, I can get a bucket under this. So it's like half utility, half, you know, you know, something finished that you want to be able to have in a, in a nice bathroom. 
Uh, right now, it's really working doubling well as a kitchen sink, though.